Hi everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to my review for Luca, the latest animated movie to come out from Disney. And before we jump into this review, I just wanted to kind of touch on the actual, what I thought was the message and what I think everybody should really take away from the film. And it kind of uh, persuades into what's going on currently in England and it's talking about not judging people based on what they look like. And basically talking about prejudice and how people have this uh kind of mindset that because somebody looks different to them that they are kind of seen as scary or just in general like people are perceived to be um kind of you know like monsters that, that's what kennedy say in this film people who are different than you are perceived as monsters or a threat and i feel like disney does a pretty good job at um persuading that kind of message of how we shouldn't really judge people because of how they look but and the reason why the reason i want to touch on this is because of what's going on in england with the euros and basically all of our all of the black players who um basically missed their penalties were racially abused and such and such they're not like kind of welcome and things of that nature but i just wanted to say that before we jump into this review but without the way let's jump straight into this review so Luca is basically a film about uh, two young boys, uh, Luca and Alberto, who basically are kind of sea creatures and the moment they leave the water, they turn into humans. And when they go back into water or they touch water, they are uh, basically go back into their kind of sea form as such. And personally, I wasn't really kind of um, anticipating to watch this film. It was actually... A film which I wasn't actually going to watch until I heard about the reviews and I feel like Luca is a it's a good film it's not one of Disney's strongest uh, films in my opinion I think it's like kind of average in terms of um, Disney but I feel like the film is pretty enjoyable and of course the message which I earlier said in my review is pretty good well, amazing actually and I feel like Disney does a really good job at showing us how how to how to basically make us think and I think this is what Luca does and not only that but I think it does a good job at showing us how um, different civilizations as such because this is in Italy how they kind of um, kind of the kind of the water aspect with Italy, they are surrounded a lot by water and I think it does a really good job at depicting kind of the lifestyle of Italy in some sense. If you come from Italy, hopefully that makes sense. Or if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, overall, I've got to say that Luca is a good film. One hour and 34 minutes was it was a, a good run length for this. I didn't really feel too bored. I didn't feel like it was... Um, boring as such. I was a bit sceptical in the first 20 minutes because I didn't really feel like this was a film which I was going to enjoy but the moment where everything in the film basically turns upside down where um, Alberto basically uh, he gets out, out we didn't, he outs himself basically uh, that was the part where it really like piques my interest so basically the story is that well, as I already c concluded, that two boys basically decide to kind of go out of their way and go into the free world because they want to uh, travel. They basically want to ride on the Vespa. One of the um, if you've seen one of those like Italian films, they're basically the bikes, the motorbikes, which they, which a lot of Italian people um, drive in Italy. And in doing so, they meet up with a young girl, and they kind of uh, have to win this competition, but. It's a triathlon as such, and that includes uh, cycling, run. I think it was running, and also swimming. Now, of course, they can't go in the water, so that kind of makes a bit of a big deal. And because of this, whenever they're surrounded by water, they're trying to kind of not get wet so that they don't show their true appearance. Which I think, you know, it was a good film, good aspect, unique. You know, Disney has that thing for making unique films. And yeah, I just feel like Luca is a really, really enjoyable film for me. Especially, I think a lot of young people will like this. I feel like, of course, the animation was terrific in this. Um, 
you know, Disney somehow always, in every movie, they always seem to up themselves when it comes to the graphics and animation of the films they produce. And I think Luca is no exception to that. Races a bar once again. But yeah, Luca, terrific film. I know this might not be a review of sorts. It's just kind of my thoughts as such. But I think Luca for me is is a six and a half out of ten. I think a lot of people the reviews for this personally. I don't think it's as good as what everybody says. But I do, I do see the appeal to the appeal for it. But yeah, Luca six point five out of ten. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And yeah, oh the voice acting as well. That's another positive. All of the actors and actresses who. Uh, did their voice acting for this were terrific but yeah uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below of Luca let me know also about the message which it tries to portray and also how does Luca kind of rank on your all-time favorite Disney films and also animation films so yeah I'll see you all on my next video uh, that will hopefully be another one today I'm not too sure maybe depends on if I'm tired or not because I did upload two videos yesterday I uploaded did I even upload? I uploaded uh, the Boss Baby 2 and I can't even remember what the last, what the other film was. I can't remember what the other film was, but I'll put it somewhere for you lots to see. Um, but please make sure you go check those, uh, those out and I'll see you all in my next video. And don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe. Peace.